my old Tiger 955i. Right, I'm just going to have a go at testing the rectifier. So, um, follow the cable coming out the state of housing, follow it round, and pull it down as a little plug, give it a squeeze. Oh, they are temperamental. That does come off. So, that's for the stator. This is leading to your rectifier. Three yellow cables, three terminals. Right. Grab your tester, whack onto diode. It's like a little little triangle with a little on a line with a little cross going through it. Make sure you've got these cables in the right holes at the bottom if you've got a separate cable for the ohms and what have you. Right. Next, if you uh, follow that cable all the way up to the rectifier, you'll feel there's a second cable. Follow it down. I've already disconnected it. And you'll find another plug. This goes to the power. Um, all right. It's got two positives and two negatives on this one. Um, I only believe you need to test one of the positives and one of the negs. But I'm doing both because I'm unsure. So basically, jam your neg into your pos and run it over all three terminals. All three terminals should be roughly the same. Not exactly the same, but they should be relatively close. Yeah, four nine, four eight, yeah. All roughly the same. As I say, I don't think you need to do them both, but I am. So I can get into the other pause. Point four eight, yeah. Point four nine, yeah, close enough. Four point nine eight, yeah. There we go. Right. Now you want to test the flow of the current in the opposite direction. These basically should just not move the meter. So, one, two, three. Yeah, nothing seemed to go wrong there. Get in there. One, two, three. Yeah, no movement. Nothing. Right. So, let's do the negs. So, jam the positive into that. Again, should be the same sort of thing. All three should be roughly the same. 4.8, yeah. 4.9, 4.8-ish, yeah, looking good. I'm going to do the other neg as I say, just because I don't really know. Oh, could this be a bad probe might not have been touching properly. Right, oh yeah, there we go, 4.8-ish. 4.9-ish. Yeah, it's all pretty, pretty good on the same. Now, if you notice, I'm actually jamming it in the back because I obviously it's quite hard to be holding it on either end of these. So if you just jam it in the back, it's an easy way of securing it. Um, that tested out. Saying that, the Triumph don't seem to issue out the specifications of what these should be. Um, other motorbikes do. Um, I've seen it in one book on one particular brand. I think it was the Honda. It was if it was providing it was not above one, but above 0.3, it would be fine. So I've got stable readings. I'm not totally sure if they're the correct readings, but it does sound about right. So there we go. That's the rectifier. Plug it all back in. Happy days.